welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Holy Grail products. I use them all the time and some of them have been repurchased multiple times. So that's what this video is going to be about because in my previous video I did crap products. Those are the products that are just not worth the money. If you want to go find out what those products were, I'll leave a video like link or whatever in this one. We are filming outside today if you haven't noticed. What time is it? I think it's around 5 o'clock, so the sun's going down, so it's really in my eyes right now, so I'm really sorry if that bothers you, but it feels incredible out. It is February, and I'm just like in a long sleeve shirt. Let's just get started. These aren't going to be dupes or anything, but it's like my favorite drugstore and high-end in one. You'll figure it out. So, let's get started with foundation. My very, very, very favorite foundation from the drugstore is by Revlon Colorstay, and I'm in the shade right now. I'm in Fresh Beige, and it's 250, but this is what the bottle looks like. I have normal to dry skin. I've talked about this foundation multiple times. 24-hour wear. It's very, very buildable, so I love that. But also, I'm obsessed with the Revlon Colorstay Whips Foundation. I use so much, but the one that I'm currently using is the liquid one. But I haven't found a very, very favorite high-end foundation yet. So far, I am leaning on the Kat Von D, but I haven't been able to purchase the full bottle because they are sold out. My favorite high-end bronzer is by Hola. Well, it's called Hola, and it's by Benefit. This is so great for contouring. Um, I really like it on all skin tones, but this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it. I've hit pan. This is such a good high-end bronzer. And then my favorite drugstore bronzer is by NYC, and it's called Sun in Bronze. I mentioned this over the summer, I believe, and I still have it. I've hit pan, too. But this one's really cool, too. This actually has three different strips in it, a brown, a highlighter, and this one, it's not even really a highlighter, but you can use it for one. And this is by MAC, and it's a cream color base, and it's in shell. And it just looks like this. I love this. I'm wearing it right now. Um, and I'm also wearing this right now, if you guys care. But I will put this on top of my cheekbones, along my eyebrows, down my nose, onto my lip. It is so amazing. It's not really a white uh, color. It has more of like a pink, silvery undertone in it. So it really makes your face pop out, makes those features pop out. This is by far one of my favorite. I've had this for such a long time and I love it. I haven't found a drugstore highlighter that I really like, so I only have that one. And then my favorite thing that I use on my eyebrows, if you don't already know, it's by e.l.f. Cosmetics. You can get these at Target, and this is the eyebrow kit in medium. I only use the wax. I don't know why I don't use the powder. I just don't like, I just don't like No it. need to go to a high-end one when you found the perfect drugstore one, right? So my favorite high-end eyeshadows are by Urban Decay. Now, I got this Naked palette a few months ago, and I have been obsessed. I just feel like if I have this, I don't need any other shadows. It has colors from light to dark, and the ones that I love are Sin. I love Sin to death. It's a great highlight color. Um, Buck and Naked are equally favorited in my part, and um, if I do go towards the dark colors, I only use Toast. This is just a really, really good palette. It's around $50. It is a really, really good investment, you guys. Like I've lived my life so long without this, and I don't regret buying this at all. Drugstore eyeshadows, really. I like anything by Revlon. I like their eyeshadows. Um, um I don't think I use that many drugstore eyeshadows. Oh, NYX has really good eyeshadows too. And oh, liquid yeah. eyeliner by Elf Cosmetics. Only liquid eyeliner I use. It's like only a dollar. It's really, really good. They have them in different colors, like brown, silver. They even have shimmery colors. But this one I just get in black. It's a dollar, people. And for high end, like I said, if you found the favorite drugstore one and you're crazy obsessed, you don't need to go out and buy a high end one. Let's talk about mascara. They're real by benefit. This has become one of my holy grails. I recently did start using it a few weeks ago and I just fallen in love. Like I'm wearing it today by itself and it just makes you look like you have false eyelashes on. It separates. The more you add, it leaves volume. It gives length. It, Oh my goodness, it's just so amazing. Drugstore mascara I actually don't have with me because I ran out a long time ago and then I got into all these other mascaras, but my favorite Holy Grail mascara is by L'Oreal Paris. It's the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara lip products. I am a huge lip junkie and, ooh, I will talk about chapsticks first. Drugstore wise is by Baby Lips. I have tons of these, they're so great. Mine just looks like this. It's the mint one and yeah, 
Okay, they're really great. Another one that's really good, I don't know if you would consider this high-end or anything, but it's by Treat, and you can get Treat.com. I heard about this from Candy Johnson, and it's seriously a miracle worker. I had the weirdest thing on my lip. It was like dry skin, and ugh. But I put this on because it's all natural. It's called Vanilla Buttercream. Oh, you can't even go wrong right there. Vanilla Buttercream Soft Candy Lip Balm, 100% natural. is really good multi-purpose wise because if you have dry ends um, you can take this and put it on your dry ends so yeah love this so those are my very two most favorite uh, lip balms let's talk about lipstick so my favorite drugstore lipstick is I would go repurchase this in a heartbeat so it's by Revlon if you haven't guessed Revlon is my favorite drugstore um, brand and this is 668 Primrose. This is a really nice pink. Um, it has a purple undertone, which is really nice. swatches right there. And then my favorite high end lipstick is Snob. And this one, it's by MAC. It's called Snob. And this one also has a. Actually, I'm going to show them to you because they kind of faded. Snob. And then this is Primrose by Revlon. They're really, really similar. That could actually be a dupe almost. But Primrose is a little more pinky. It's by NYX Cosmetics and it's their Mega Shine Lip Gloss. And it's in French Kiss. It looks like this. They smell like cherries. And I'll swatch it. Oh, these things just bright up your face. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is like pinky, orange, purple. Like, it is amazing. This one's not high end or anything. This is another drugstore. You can get this at Ulta and they're by Essence. And it's their Triple L Shine lip glosses. These taste just like, wait, I think it's like bubble gum. Oh no, it's Jolly Rancher. Like that. that is Glamour to Go. And then this is French Kiss by Okay, right, let's move on to blushes, people, shall we? High end blushes, I am obsessed with Peaches by MAC. It's really nice. Um, orangey. It's not really, really orange on your skin. It's just like a nice, sheery, like glow to your face. It's called Peaches. It's really, really good. And then my favorite pink blush, high end wise, is Dolly Mix, and it's just this color right here. My favorite orangeyish, orangeyish, or yeah, orangeyish blush from the drugstore is by Wet n Wild, and it's called Mellow Wine. It's right here. So there's Peaches, and there's Mellow Wine. Mellow Wine is a bit more rustier. That sounds really nasty, doesn't it? Like if you have a tan, this color looks really good. I wear it, I think, I'm wearing this today, yeah. Any of the Wet n Wild blushes, like I have them all right here. They're really good. Heather Silk is a really good one. Mellow Wine, per, what is it? Pearlescent Pink. They're all good. Well worth $3. Setting sprays. And my favorite high-end one is the Urban Decay All Nighter last, Long Lasting Setting Spray. This is so nice. I should probably put it on right now because my makeup is melting. Good drugstore setting spray. It's like all marked off. But this is the e.l.f. setting spray. I think it's like $3. I've used quite a lot of it. So that's a really good one. Our brush face brush, which I put on my foundation with, is by Sigma. And it's the F80 brush. It just looks like that. It's really, really nice. It makes your skin look flawless. It really gets in there and buffs it all in, all, all in those like little creases that you think you can't get. Well, you can. So I like this one. And then my favorite eyeshadow brush is by MAC and it's the 224 and it just looks like this. It's a fluffy brush. It's really good for blending in your eyeshadows. So these are my very, very, very must have favorite brushes of all time. And then really good brushes from the drugstore that are also a holy grail mine are e.l.f brushes and this one is the elf blush brush this one's really good makeup and I put all my products in this bag that I got from 31 if you guys like I know it. someone who sells this stuff and I can put their information down in the description bar if you guys like this bag or the design or anything but yeah I love 31 but anyway that's not even what we're talking about right now holy grail like holy crap it's, they're so good first things I'm gonna pop out are some hair products and they are all by Bedhead. Not sponsored by Bedhead or anything like that, but I bought all of this stuff with my own money. And the first thing, my Holy Grail leave-in conditioner. Like, you put it on right when you get out of the shower, your hair is a little damp. Good leave-in conditioner is the EcoBoost Split Ending Mender. So if you have split ends, if you have dry hair, put, these, put this really good. All you need is a little drop, and it's seriously amazing, and it smells 
so good like shine spray and this one is called head rush I love this it makes your hair when your hair is really dull and you just need some shine you need some life back in your hair this will give it to you so it is bed heads head rush oh it smells so good if you have really frizzy hair really dry hair like the after party it's a creamy like a smooth, a smoothing cream and it leaves your hair really silky I and mean, smells really good so I really like this one I don't one even too. think we need to talk about these do we Yes to cucumbers? Yeah? Holy grail? Yeah, I think so. Lotion, and I haven't mentioned this lotion at all on my channel, but it is a lotion I use every single day. Like, every day when I get out of the shower next to, you know, all my vanilla scents or whatever, I always purchase this. Always. And if you have really dry skin in any areas of your body, this is really good. It is cocoa butter. I love cocoa butter. Um, Cocoa butter, if you're not familiar with it, it's a deep conditioning lotion. Um, it helps even skin tone and textures as petroleum jelly, vitamin E. Um, yeah, mine's from Target. Last but not least, I'm sorry if this video is forever long. But uh, my favorite body spray is by far the Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath & Body Works. This is their old packaging, don't even pay attention to it. But I love Warm Vanilla Sugar. Hmm. Then a perfume that I always seem to go back to is by Victoria's Secret. It's their Dream Angels collection and it's in Forever. So Dream Angels Forever. This one has a really nice vanilla scent. I wonder, no it doesn't say anything. Someone told me that if you spray on a perfume or anything like that, if you don't smell your scent by the end of the day, that scent was just made for you. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I'll spray this on and I don't even smell it anymore. And people come up to me and be like, you smell really good. And I'm like, really? I don't even smell it. I don't even notice it. It was meant for you. Products, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I could have gone way into depth with so many other things that I love. But that was just the majority that I would re-go purchase. They're my favorites. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I'll leave all of the products that I mentioned down in the description bar. So if you're interested in purchasing it, you know exactly what it's called. And I love you guys so much. Also, I'll leave my Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. Um, what else am I saying? I'm, I don't know. I'll just leave all my links down in the description bar so that if you want to contact me or talk to me or, you know, be friends with me or whatever. You know, you don't have to. You're fine. You're probably too cool for me anyway. Just kidding. So I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. Bye! For more beauty related videos, click the video that's on the left. Or if you want to check out my vlog channel, click the video that's on the right.